We are being, we are being forced out of our environment by what is really basically what Hugo Taghole of Surfers Against Sewage came to Whitstable two weeks ago for a Save Our Seas protest. SOS Whitstable, a fantastic group. Almost a thousand people came to that protest. We marched and we heard speakers. We heard Baroness Natalie Bennett, the former leader of the Green Party, who came down to talk to us, who lobbied to get that important amendment that Candy mentioned through the House of Lords, and they did it. And it would have put a legal duty on Southern Water to clean up their act, but it was defeated in Parliament on Wednesday. It may seem like there was there were a lot of Conservative MPs who would have made that impossible, but in fact, we only needed 32, 32 more Tory MPs to get that amendment through. Importantly, five Tory MPs, Kent Tory MPs, actually came on side. Surprisingly, I think, but they were Craig McKinley, Kelly Tolhurst, um, Greg Clark, um, um, I've forgotten the others, but anyway, the important thing is all of those five were lobbied by constituents like you, like me, and don't believe that lobbying an MP doesn't make a difference because they're only there in their positions of power because we put them there, either by voting for them or by not voting at all. So the next time you get a chance to vote, make sure it counts and make sure that you remember the MPs who failed to vote for that amendment. Now one of them, guess who it was? Roger Gay, the MP for North Thanet, the MP for Margate, who basically, I believe, put two fingers up to the people of this town. He was lobbied and he said 